Hey YouTube, it's Manny with Life with the Lunas. It's Monday, May 7th, and we had a great weekend, NRA convention weekend in Dallas, Texas. Anyway, we were out there uh, on Saturday, my wife and I, and uh, you know, walked through it, checked it out. It's the first time I've been out to one of these. It was a great time. Um, I was really impressed with the way uh, the NRA handles things, you know, really professional. Uh, lots of vendors out there. I really enjoyed that, going through, talking to different people and, you know, um, uh, was shopping different suppressors and I, I thought I would take this opportunity to look at the different ones and right now I kind of got my eye on the Yankee Hill machine. I like the way theirs has a special locking system, but anyway. The NRA was great, um, you know, there's a lot of questions about Second Amendment rights and all this, and, you know, I stand behind the NRA. Um, everyone's got, I guess, their own belief, but, you know, people need to really think about this Second Amendment issue, and, you know, it's, if you give a little, the government will take a lot. And that's what people need to understand. It's not that we don't want to, you know, anyone to know what we have or this and that. Some of us don't, but it's just, you know, once they start getting a little control, they start taking everything. And we all know that we've seen it done in the past. You know, the uh, history, you know, repeats itself. So guys, you need to think about that. And, uh, the other thing was, you know, we had the little North, the North Texas NRA and Second Amendment, I mean, Second Amendment, you know, gathering, I guess you'd say, and, you know, there were not very many protesters like I thought. I thought for sure, you know, they talk a lot about how they're going to do this, do that, and they I saw one small group, but, you know, I had a good time meeting a few people, and uh, what I was re really impressed with was Dallas and tech or just texas but dallas texas and then you know texas dps the highway patrol you know state police i guess whatever they were acting as on saturday um they were in full force i'm talking tactical gear some of them it, it was nice to know that we're in texas we definitely handle our business you know they were prepared for anything if anything was going to happen and uh, I mean, I, you know, like to see, you know, our law enforcement taking care of their job. You know, they were there and, you know, I'm sure, you know, they were all, it was a mandatory thing because, you know, this NRA and, you know, Second Amendment stuff going on, but still they, they were nice. They weren't rude. They were everywhere. And I was, that's the thing, man. There was no way this was gonna get out of hand. And, uh, I was really impressed, Dallas PD. You, you guys did it. I saw I saw DPD. I saw um, you know State Highway Patrol or DPS. I guess what they like to be called. I saw Dallas County Sheriff, and uh, I was impressed, man. It was great to you know. It makes me proud to know that that those guys are taking care of business. I definitely back the blue. I back all all the uh, law enforcement. Um, I live in the Crandall area, I back Crandall guys, you know, and, and that's just something I am, I, you know, I'm, but I was very impressed, um, you know, it, I liked the showing at the NRA, it was great, the way they have everything set up, all the people that were just, I mean, you know, we were there pretty early, right when they uh, opened up to let people in, and uh, we stayed there till, you know, what, 2.30, so we were there about six hours and uh you know got to spend some time talking to like i said talking to the different uh vendors and just people about a little here and there just everything but and even when we were leaving there were still people coming in guys it was so i was glad to see that you know being a member of the nra and backing them you know definitely is worth it you guys need if you could have seen it uh we've got a video up you can watch it um i know there's several nra videos look up on youtube 
and you can see you know where your dollars are gonna go if you have any question you can see what's going on guys where your money's going you know we have to do it you know there was a guy that posted on one of the AR-15 sites that I that I frequent on Facebook and uh, there's some group that is uh, I don't even remember who they are they're buying billboards and they're getting funds they, they sell their swag you know their merch you know and they turn around and they do the uh, they get these billboards it's my understanding there's one right now and over near cattle mills I, I frequent B tactical it's an awesome gun range on I-30 and um, I want I think people should start you know complaining and whatever because there's supposedly there's a billboard I haven't gone I'm planning on going this week because I'm going to the range anyway I'm gonna stop by and I want to see what this billboard says and you know so so these people are getting money my understanding and they're putting up like a hundred billboards this year and there's two in Texas I wonder why there's two when there's a hundred out of a hundred it's because Texas we stand for our rights here you know what I'm saying and I don't I've got so many people that are kind of you know ragging a little bit that are saying you know they, they twist everything around man it's like all these you know guys you know that are against the firearms against weapons or whatever they like to twist it man but here's my thing you don't want no assault rifles or assault weapons as you call them but yet you know when somebody comes to your home and starts blasting you or trying to break in and get your wife and your kids or get your property first thing you do is pick up the phone well you know what if somebody's got a gun or somebody's a knife or a baseball bat or a brick you know they could pick up a brick and kill you with it guys is that an assault brick but I'm just saying it's too late they already done got you you need to think about that you know, I'm not saying that we're all crazy and going to just shoot everybody, but if someone comes to your home, you need to be able to defend yourself. And, you know, some of them are like, well, I, you know, put down your guns and fight like a man. Really? That's really going to happen? You're going to tell a woman that? Anyway, I'm just saying, you, this is, I'm going to get off my rant about that, but just to let you know, the NRA was awesome, NRA convention in Dallas, Texas was amazing and you know depending on how things go I may just go ahead and set me up a sketch on my schedule for next year in Indianapolis but uh, I enjoyed it and uh, you know I, I'm, I mean who gets the president the vice president to show up to their convention hello and we don't have to sit there and whine and cry and act like a big baby cuss people out go crazy we don't. But, you know, you've always got those people that got to go against the grain. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know some people right now on my Facebook, some friends that they go against everything that's said that I'm about. They're always popping stuff up and this and that or whatever. But you know what? Some of those guys I've known since high school, and they were always like that. That's just who they are. Some of these people, that's, that's who they are. They're always going to go against the grain because they can't stand the way they get the way that they get, I don't know, what satisfaction, I guess, is to cause trouble and to stir up the pot, to stir it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys know who you are. You want to unfriend me? Do what you got to do. But I'm just saying, you got to stir the pot, no matter what it is. If I say it's blue, you say it's dark blue. If I say it's black, you say it's charcoal. You know what I'm saying? But that's how some, most of these people that I'm finding that are against AR-15s or against whatever, that's how they are. That's their attitude. They just want to get in there and start trouble because they can't stand it. They're not happy with their life. They're not happy in their own skin. And that's what I got to say, man. But anyway, get off my big high horse here, whatever you want to call it, just to let you guys know. I had an amazing time. My wife loved it. Uh, check out our video that we posted and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel guys and uh, let me know what you think. I'm a big boy either way All right, man. Take care. You'll have a great day Live the NRA